Hey guys, here we go. This is our um, knee cyst here. You can see nice, when we try to pull that apart, that line's coming together. He's had them in for like two weeks. It's a little red just because it's a nylon suture in there and his body's trying to get those out. So we're gonna take stitches out today and he's doing great. That inflammation's going down. It's still a little firm, but that's just because of that. Um, you know, it was a big cyst and those stitches, once they get out within a week or so, that'll go down. Okay guys, Mr. Pops it here. We have, it was a large cyst on the knee and you can see there's an indentation here when we come from the side. You can see that's indented. We're only three months out. Um, the little cut line there is still a little discolored in time that will go more to uh, skin tone. And you can see on that, it's kind of it looks like bruising, but it's actually like extra skin that was stretched out. And then when it kind of clumps up, kind of like elbow skin, um, you will see it get a little darker. In time, that skin will kind of stretch into place as well. And he should redistribute like some fat tissue kind of will spread into that area and kind of fill that void where that large cyst was. So it's always good to do like a quick follow up. I, lo I love to see those and see how they're healing. He does still have, cause this is a, a, a high movement area, a little bit of tenderness here and there, just kind of an ache. But overall, I mean, probably doesn't hurt as much as when it was a big giant cyst. <laughs> so we'll keep an eye on it. It should lighten with time, but you, you don't feel anything in there that we got that whole cyst out. So nothing's gonna come back, but that's just a quick follow up on the knee cyst and thanks to him for sharing. Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. If you like what you just saw, make sure I'll pop all the buttons. See you soon.